Hey guys, crazy, crazy outfit. Obviously, I'm wearing underwear, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say hi and say hi. I just woke up from my, I didn't just wake up from my nap. Okay, I woke up from my nap about an hour ago from my after school nap. And I had to put a little stuff on top of this and underneath it so I can say hi. Tell you guys that I don't know how the fuck I did it. Okay, stand by. Um, I don't know how I did it, but I managed to read freaking three chapters for my test, for my technology test. Okay, because okay, I didn't really study for the test all along, and I actually didn't complete an assignment. And I'm hoping I should work on it tonight before bed. That's really what I should do. Um because there wasn't a deadline on it, but I knew, we all knew what the deadline was. The deadline was on the 10th. Okay, it is two days past the 10th, and I didn't complete that assignment. So we'll see what happens. Um, Caitlin, um, so yeah, so okay, so yesterday I had to do accounting homework. I had to finish my accounting homework. I had already read the chapter, thank God but the accounting homework took me five hours to do plus the other little homework that went with it. So it was like six hours, not to mention reading the chapter and doing like the lecture and blah, blah, blah. And then I had another chapter to read. Okay, I had that due at 11 p.m. last night, okay? I like the way I'm starting to like shred. So that's why I'm half naked right now. Well, also because I just finished recording for Patreon. Um, so yeah, so I had all the accounting due at 11 p.m. last night, and then I had at 11 a.m. today, I had a chapter, a quiz, and I had to sign up for an ethics game or whatever for the class, uh, but I had all that due by 11 today, and then at 2.30, I had a test for technology, so imagine my life has been very intense, and I hadn't studied for that test at all, worked on the assignment. So, um, and then I had to prioritize, like, do I want to like do the assignment or do I want to study for the test? Like which thing will be more important? I studied for the test, but it was hard guys. I, you can't, that quiz for the management class that was due at 11 AM today, that quiz, um, the quizzes for that class, if you don't read the chapter, you will not do good. Like you barely do good reading the chapter. You have to do the chapter plus you have to like take really good notes and um yeah and have them nearby because that's how hard his tests his quizzes are so yeah that happened and then i actually i took the test and i actually felt confident like there was a few hard ones you know and i don't know i um i got the book out and i um looked up certain things like even like the 80 percent like things that go uh e-waste that is not recycled 80 percent. i can't believe i got that one right i can't believe it i was like it has to be a big number because I, I i remember seeing it and i don't remember the exact number but i was like whoa my friends that's a lot so there was like the choices were like 10 percent. that's not you know e-waste that's not recycled 80 percent, 52 and 42 and i almost changed it to 52 i was like no i feel like it's more than 50. I feel like it was so dramatic. Like if it's like 50%, I wouldn't have been said, whoa. You know, I said, whoa, I just don't remember what for. <laughs> I was like, shit. So anyways, um, yeah, we'll see how well I did on that. And then now, now, technically I have a whole chapter for micro to read that takes me a whole day plus an assignment due on Wednesday at 4 p.m. So really that's all I should be doing right now. And then not to mention that I haven't organized myself. Midterms were last week and I'm still unorganized from the midterms just want to point something out really quick about this i did an experiment okay i saw something on instagram and i saw this girl bending over she's wearing underwear and everything and then she like hits herself with the spatula and it like shakes but it was a slow motion so i recreated it and i put it on patreon so cool i thought that was so cool and i just want you guys to know that whenever you're doing this in slow motion i recommend that you try it anyways whenever you're doing it in slow motion it's like the um impact you hear the impact first in slow motion like whenever you're playing it back you're like what yeah you hear it and then you see it 
It's really cool. Okay, so fine. I'm gonna let you guys go and get to work. I just wanted to be like all like gratuitous because I'm like, oh look at me, I look cute. I don't know. Guys, I know. Don't even. I know. Honestly, it's because I have a lot of energy because I slept from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I slept seven hours. So that's like more than I've been sleeping at night. So I feel like I had like a whole night's sleep, everyone. <laughs> oh, and I really should go back to bed and like wake up at a decent hour. I put this on top. It doesn't really match this. This. We're going with it. It's Halloween month, right? I'm also really sad about the fact that I usually love to get all into like Halloween and like do different outfits throughout the month and whatever. But I won't be able to get too into it because of school. Because school's kicking my ass. Like, this semester's crazy. And they're already talking about signing up, enrolling for next semester. I'm like, guys, <laughs> I'm barely surviving this semester. Like, what are you talking about? Next semester. I'm not signing up for Anatins right now. Okay? I'm going gray grays. I have to. I'll, I'll do it. It's my last semester that the school's paying for. You know what I'm saying? So... I should try to take five classes. We'll see. It depends who I'm taking international econ with. I know who I want to take it with. My favorite professor, the statistics professor. That's who I want to take it with. We'll see what happens. Okay, well, thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you soon. Cute little outfit. Oh yeah, last but not least, I was gonna tell you. I was going to be a fly for Halloween, not because of what happened during the vice presidential debate. Okay, I saw about that. But I had decided to be a fly first because there was a freaking horse fly up in this bitch for like a whole fucking week while I was doing midterms. Like a whole week, a huge horse fly. It's kind of awesome because every time I went in the mirror and like try to look at my face, um, the horse fly would come bug me. So I was just like, okay, don't look at your face. You know what I mean? So it's like helping me like not like pick up myself whenever I'm stressed out. So that was cool. And so like after a whole week of it harassing me, I don't even want to go in there. Today, I actually felt guilty to scratch at that one. I was like, where's the fly? <laughs> where's the fly? <laughs> LOL. But anyways, it's huge. It was like a huge horse fly. And it kept following me everywhere. And I got really good pictures of it. And so I was like, and I looked it up. And it's like, you know, like a, a spiritual message, you know? Uh, so I looked it up and everything. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a, a fly. And then I looked up some wings and the wings are $140 to get some fly wings that are awesome. Cause you know, like if I'm gonna like be a fly, like I wanna be a awesome, cool, okay. Anyways, $140, but it takes two weeks to make. And, um, I don't know if if that was going to be enough time. You know what I mean? Like, it's exactly, we're two weeks away from, you know? So I, I just don't know. So I, I didn't do it. And then I was going to get some, like, red glasses. But then the whole vice, pre and I probably would have done it, but then the whole vice presidential thing happened. And then the guy had a fly on his head. And then now it's, like, a big deal. And now if I'm a fly, people are going to think I'm a fly because of that. And I wanted to be, like, the reason I wanted to be a fly is because nobody's ever a fly. Like who freaking dresses up, who dresses up as a fly? So I was just like, yeah, I wanna be different. I wanna be cool. And then everybody's talking about the fucking fly on this Mike's head or whatever. So they're gonna think that that's, that was the inspiration. Furthermore, there's probably gonna be other people dressed as flies just because of it. So I don't want to dress as a fly. If other people are going to dress as flies. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. I'm so self-conscious about my feet. Look, so the reason I didn't do a pedicure like video is because there's a lot of dead skin. You know what I mean? Like my feet, I don't really like, I'm not one of, I'm low maintenance, okay? Like for somebody as like picky as I am, like and fastidious, I'm still low maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, the last time I had gotten my toenails done was um was um February of this year, and then October. I mean, guys, son say messy. 
That's six months. Okay. And so anyways, then I had all this skin. It's like, that's not something I want to like be scraping in front of you guys. And then on this leg, on this foot, that one, I like to dance around. And since I don't have like real wooden floors anymore, it's like that vinyl fake wood or whatever it is it like grips onto like my feet and like while i'm turning and it'll like it'll tear up my skin and it's like really embarrassing and i had like a really ho big hole there and i didn't want to go because i know that it's still kind of there i know that they they scrape hard you know and i get all scared anyways i don't know what the point of el punto de victoria is with the pose if i don't make it want to do it once a month and then I want to do like a trim with my girl I'm gonna go see my girl and I'm gonna do a trim with her every two months every six weeks or two months but two months you know I'll do like a, a, a little trim with her and then um, I'm trying I told you guys that I'm trying to like let my hair you know be natural like by itself I'm super oily too that's why I'm wearing a hat but I didn't want to wash it because I'm going to that thing tomorrow. And so they're going to wash it tomorrow. I'm getting my hair cut. So there's no point. Anyways, it's fine. It's going to grow. It's fine. Okay, we go through stages in life. Like I go, I went through a stage where my hair was like super long and luscious. And then I actually went through a stage where I lost a lot of hair. Like I was like losing a lot of hair. And I think it was from stress. That's back, you know, in 2018 and 2019. And I was like losing a lot of hair. And I, I ended up having to cut a lot of it, you know, and I was trying to keep my length and it wasn't working for me. So anyways, that fucking crazy lady came here. I went to her. She came into my life just to get rid of my dead weight for me. And now that it's gone, I'm going to get it shaped. I'm going to fix it. And then uh, I'm going to fix it. And then I'm going to let it grow. Okay. I'm going to post my story on Instagram tomorrow. <laughs> With my hair down here. My freaking long ass red hair. It was so cute. Like, it makes me want to do keratin treatments again. But... You know, there's like, there's been so many different like studies and, and not like, you know, saying that they're like completely legit, but you know, some people suggest that doing keratin treatment for your hair for a long time makes it to where when you stop, your hair gets worse. Okay, so I did stop and my hair got way, way bad. So I really do think I need, I really need to not fall for that. I need to not fall for that and I need to stay consistent and just let my hair do its thing and just be healthy naturally without help can i do it because think about it keratin keratin is what horns and nails are made from and if you put that in your hair and then you know i have really sensitive skin and it goes from you know because technically it's coating your hair so like let's say i sweat or i sleep and it gets on my face and then you know no no look at that guys i'm starting to sh that makes me want to go work out whenever i see that i'm starting to shape up Okay, cool. I'm going to let you guys go. All right. Thanks for listening. See you guys.